Hey you guys, Jamin37x here bringing you episode 18 of Epic Battle Fantasy V. Last time, we uh, made a little bit more progress into the Iron Fortress. We freed the prisoners up here, most notably uh, Jerry, our neighbor. <laughs> uh, we went through this little side area, opened up a shortcut, finding ourselves the Magnetic Boots, a option, optional key item that allows us to get a few things. They're not super useful for a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, then we just did a bit, of a bit more backtracking and solved this puzzle here. So this time we're just going to continue onwards. We're going to mostly focus on taking care of this room and see maybe what lies beyond. Um, so really quick, you'll notice this box is actually... Th there's a few interesting things going on in this room. Uh, first off is this here. Uh, it's a cookie, which I think that's a key item. I haven't found out what these are for yet, but it uh, smells funny, apparently, whatever that's supposed to mean. <laughs> Uh, so you'll notice there's quite a few collectibles, there's some things of interest. Uh, first off, we can just head over here to get our second of six music CDs for the, uh, the quest. Interact with this TV to get some loot. And then there's just some other things we can do. So we're just we're just going to take out some encounters here, I think. Uh, nice and easy-like. Uh, but really quickly, I want to somewhat, uh, slightly apologize. Uh, here, actually, I'm going to I'm gonna switch off Matt's weapon here. I want to slightly, very slightly apologize for... Um, for the last couple videos, again, I was sick. I'm feeling much better now, but um, um, I, I was a little, I was a little empty in the head for a lot of that. Uh, we're just, we're just gonna go with a neutral weapon, I think, for now. Honestly, that's fine. That's fine. I think, yeah. I just wanted to have a weapon that um, it, it doesn't matter if I use any of his like neutral attacks or anything, or if I want to do like any of his like legend. I think I have legend, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yes, you, you look, I mean, just right off the bat, I wore the same shirt two episodes in a row, which I never try and do that. I always just switch between recordings. And um, I, I, a lot, for a lot of the bigger fights, I wasn't completely thinking clearly. So uh, we're going to try and be a little bit better about that in the future here. Uh, so because it went dark, this might just kill him. Nope, okay. Oh, he's going to surrender. Okay, we're just going to defend then. Uh, this is an optional encounter. It's, it's not blocking anything. I just like to take care of all the battles. And, ah, see, look at that new enemy here. Um, these, I think, are the Steel Raids. This is the first of uh, daggers. What else the ghosts have with their sleeves? Um, that attack, if it's like the version that we ha can get, which I believe it is, has a chance to insta-kill. That attack they just did, I believe, also has a chance to insta-kill. Uh, these guys are a little bit tricky. They have quite a few tricks up their sleeves. Um, yeah, Steel Raids. Uh, six challenge. Attack the healthiest looking player. So that's interesting. These guys have a little bit of, uh, different, uh, AI for, for how they decide who to attack. Weak to Wind and Holy. Uh, let's see. Wind and Holy. I think we could probably do to heal, but I think no legs real with Oh, actually, I just noticed their HP is different, I guess. Yeah, so we have actually have two that are level 19 and two that are level 20, which is interesting. Uh, we're just going to go for the level 19s and hope that we can maybe take one of them out. Uh, let's see which is better. I guess Weaken is better. So let's see how we do. Nah, no, not, not even close, actually. <laughs> Alright, well, this might hurt a little bit then. I just kind of wanted to see where we stood damage-wise, but I think we might uh, pay the price here a little bit. Yeah, okay. They're knocked over an elephant. Yeah, so you kind of see the, the main range of their attacks there. Uh, they aren't they aren't the worst, but they can be a little bit tricky to keep up with. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm just gonna have you take. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, we, we have plenty more to capture. I'm gonna make sure I capture one of these guys, but we're just gonna. Oh, that actually didn't kill him. Um, I think I'm just gonna heal up. Yeah. <laughs> these guys are a little bit tougher than I than I think I bargained for when I first came into this fight. Um, yeah, so I think this is the first time we're being introduced. We haven't seen it yet, but these guys, the raids are very well known for, uh, inflicting instant death. Oh, that actually inflicts doom. Okay. Maybe that doesn't inflict instant death? I'm not sure. Um, so doom, basically, this is, this is a countdown. Once this hits zero, uh, that character will die immediately. Uh, there's a few interesting combinations that are involved with instant death. So... For example, if, uh, let me make sure I remember these correctly. If you have a character who has good luck and they get inflicted with instant death, uh, they will actually be inflicted with stagger. So it will, basically good luck will 
if you're if you have good luck, you cannot be instant killed at all. It's not possible, uh, as far as I'm aware. Uh, additionally, if you have bad luck inflicted on you, doom becomes instant death. So th there's a couple interesting combinations. Oh, there's a new attack. Okay, I think that can potentially target anyone. Uh, but again, they do. I think that will target the person with the most HP. So I think it just hit Matt three times as a result of that. Um, so as far as I'm aware, those those are a couple of the interesting interactions. A, a few of the interesting interesting stat combos or status combos in the game. Um, also, last time I noticed in the, uh, the the comments, you guys, someone corrected me on how I was looking at status resistances. Um, the elemental res or sorry, let me think. Debuff resistances are additive. So, like, if an enemy has, say, 20% debuff resistance for attack, that means that if you inflict 20, if you inflict a 20% attack debuff on them, it becomes nothing. It's zero. And basically, it subtracts that from any uh, debuff. However, for statuses, it's actually... <gasps> excuse me, it's actually multiplicative. So, for example, if... Um, if an enemy is 50% resistant to stun, and you have a weapon that has, say, a 50% chance to stun, if I'm understanding correctly, uh, that means that you actually have a 25% chance to stun. So, that could potentially work for you or against you, depending on specific context. But uh, that, it's just just a few important things to note about how uh, how the whole thing works. Uh, they they are treated. To, oh, he already. To, oh, that's right. He he healed us. Okay. Uh, they are things. Those things are treated a bit differently. So it's it's good to keep those in mind. Excuse me. Okay. But yeah, that, that's just a couple of the things I wanted to correct again. The, the last couple episodes were a bit of a mess. So <laughs> I'm just uh, just kind of trying to cover up. Cover up my tracks, as it were. <laughs> Alright. So, this should put him weak enough. Yeah, it's, that's definitely capturing. It's just gonna be a medium box, probably. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. Okay, so we have a Steel Wraith. Uh, Blast Foes Multi. So this is multi-hit, single-target bomb attack, which may stagger and debuff resist or debuff defense. Uh, well, it may stagger them, but you see it has a 100% chance to debuff their defense by 50, too. So that's a, that's a pretty sizable chunk there. So that's not too bad. Uh, I have been... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Forget about that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my bad. It's a little, uh, I, I just completely forgot. I, I was too busy on my tangent about how de how Doom and Death works, and then I forgot that, uh, she literally had Doom on her the entire time. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, the, the main thing, so I'm, in the live stream series, I'm trying to work on my frequency of using limit breaks, because, uh, you know, in hindsight, Definitely. Sh oh, it's starting to cool. I definitely should have used a limit break on the defender. I, again, at the time, I don't even think I was really processing everything entirely, so I it just did not even enter my mind to, to use a limit break there. That was a perfectly viable spot to use a limit break. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and scan these guys. I believe these are the uh, oak mirrors or something. Wise mirrors. Sorry. Uh, oh, it is made of oak though. Uh, reflects all type of damage, so. It, both magic and physical, it'll it'll reflect. I think oh, we've seen one other mirror enemy. Hold on. Um, but yeah, the main thing that I need, definitely need to try start. I'm trying to use limit breaks more. Is the long story short, but uh, summons I still I think it's going to take even longer for me to get used to using because there's just so many of them. It's really hard for me to keep track. Uh, so let's see, angel mirrors. Yeah, okay. So the only mirrors we found so far reflect all types of damage. Um, and I've already told you the trick. <laughs> where you can berserk them uh, at the cost of taking a, a turn of pretty big damage. I was informed recently, I think this is true, especially, about, so you guys might remember when I berserked the angel mirror, it was a, it was a while ago, I can't even remember what it was, but um, I took a lot of damage even though I buffed my physical defense. I actually think that their mirror smashing attack is magic, and my uh, my friend Fabrizio, or uh, Omega if you know him from the uh, the EBF Discord, uh, he, he actually mentioned that to me, I wouldn't have even came to that conclusion on my own. But uh, apparently the attack very well might be magic, which would also explain why it still did an absolute ton of damage to me, even despite having, uh, having uh, physical resist. So that's just something to keep in mind. I haven't tried it in a while, or I, I haven't tried it since then, <laughs> so uh, maybe here we'll be able to figure out one way or the other, 
Um, either way, it is still definitely their strongest attack. In general, I usually will just ignore the mirrors for a while. Um, until I'm in a situation where I think I can afford to take the big attack, and then I berserk them so that it's uh, easier to deal with them. Uh, we can just have you... Uh, <laughs> but... Yeah, the, the mirrors in general, I usually just kind of leave them for a while. Since, uh, I mean, they're pretty dangerous, but a lot of their attacks really aren't too bad. Also, I, I feel like I definitely should have just kept the electric weapon equipped. Um, yeah, so the, the mirrors, the, most of their attacks really aren't that threatening, ironically, except for the one they do when you berserk them. Uh, you can see kind of the range of these guys' attacks. Uh, actually, does it say anything else in their little description there? Let me see. <coughs> Uh, smash, okay. Yeah, also, Smashing Mirrors does give you bad luck, so if you are the one to break a mirror, uh, you actually will get bad luck on you, which is kind of interesting. Also, these guys are um, susceptible to being set on fire, which makes sense, because they're made of wood. Uh, just another interesting thing. So this will probably kill. That actually doesn't, which I'm honestly okay with. Should have had someone else finish them off so that we could have... Uh, at least done. So, so, like, this protect, honestly, I don't think it's going to be useful at all. Because, <clears throat> again, these guys are magic attackers. And I believe even the attack that really looks, to be honest, it really looks like it should be physical. I think even that attack is actually a magic attack. As far as I'm aware. So, I think to test that... <clears throat> I, I can't, I don't have any way to test 100% right now. Uh, maybe I did if I had a different summon on my bar, <laughs> but I don't right now, so that's fine. Basically, we're just gonna buff our magic defense buff and see how much it hurts. <laughs> if it doesn't, if the, the glass shard attack doesn't do a ton of damage, then most likely that means that it's... It actually is a magic attack. Because last time, I know we had physical buff and it didn't, it really did quite a lot of damage. I, like I said, it definitely did more than I would have expected it to do. <clears throat> so let's just see what happens here. Uh, all right, we have another turn. Um, still, but he's not broken yet, so he's still. Gonna, we're just gonna have him defend just to make sure at least someone stays alive. So you see there, it didn't do too much damage. I, I'm, I mean, it wasn't like a completely conclusive test, but because I I should have tested it before and after a magic, but but I actually am really scared of that attack, so I wanted to play it safe. Um, I, I'm pretty sure the glass breaking attack is magic. So, it's good to keep in mind, because it, like, again, if that is true, it's not very intuitive at all that that would be the case. So, it's just something you'll want to make sure you remember. Also, we're going to go ahead and use a water attack just to get, get rid of the berserk here. <clears throat> no, and we actually, we inflict bad luck on the mirror. If that's not, if that's not flipping the whole thing on its head, I don't know what is. Uh, but yeah, if the mirror breaks itself through that attack, uh, it doesn't do the bad luck, as you also... May have noticed from that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we can just do that. And then we're free to just take care of these guys just as if they're any other enemy. Except they also don't have access to most of their attacks. So th there is, I would say there definitely is a benefit to breaking them besides. Oh, I was gonna start. Oh, I should have captured him. Whoops. Okay. No, it's fine. I'll capture this one. No, that's my fault. I missed an easy capture. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, there is another benefit to berserking them besides just that they break so that they don't reflect damage, that they also don't have access to most of their attacks, I believe. So, really the only thing they can do then is just kind of ram into you, which, especially if they aren't preserved, it doesn't even do that much, it's just that. It doesn't even do that much damage. So it's really not too bad at all. No, oh, we're just gonna do a little bit more. Okay, this should be good to capture. 2016 there. Okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> Not too bad. I'm just glad I remembered. I'm trying to be a little bit more uh, cognitive of when I need to capture things. Okay, so these boxes, uh, you can push them. It's pretty much all there is to it. Just some boxes when you ex when you're exploring the world, you may find that you can actually push them and that they're interactable. Just want to keep that in mind. Here we got a new toy for no legs. This is a really quite useful one. Uh, Thunder skills, of course, boosts both of his offensive stats. Uh, go ahead and upgrade that a little bit here. I mean, at least plasma cage. That I'm not sure if we've seen it yet, but that's the attack where it's like a, a yellow circle and it like, uh, like a circle of electricity and like shoots bolts inwards type thing. I'm not sure if we've seen it yet here, but uh, some enemies use it. 
And, uh, you know, it's not too bad. I'm gonna just go ahead and give you this again, I think. Just, just cause. At the very least, he's proficient in some elements of this. Okay, so this one you actually have to go back here. And then fight this. I think this is another new mirror. Yes. Oh, that's gonna hurt someone. Yep. <laughs> His bomb resistance, though, is just not too bad. Excuse me, sorry, I'm just gonna take a drop here. Okay, so here we have the haunted mirrors. Uh, this one reflects magic damage. So this is the first time we've seen a mirror that only reflects a certain kind of damage. Uh, these ones specifically reflect magic. So, if you can hit them with physical attacks, which most of our guys are physical attackers, these guys don't reflect anything, so they're actually fine. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave and come back just because. Oh, he was staggered, actually. Might have been moist just staying in. Which, that also shows you that bombs are magic. Um, if you're ever wondering. Uh, yeah, bombs are magic, because that bomb hit in the, and it reflected, so. Just an interesting thing there. Uh, we would have learned that later on, of course, but, uh, you know, not too bad. I actually think I'm going to take care of the worms first, just because I really don't like them. Uh, let's, let's just temper, and then... I, I just really dislike the worms a lot. Okay, we're going to leave him, and we're going to weaken this other one, I think. Um, just this, I guess. <clears throat> and then we can just take them both out at the same time next turn so that we don't risk... Killing one and then the other one spawns a worm back in his place. You know, just just the kind of stuff you expect to happen when worms are involved. So here you inflicted invisible. Pretty sure we've seen that before. But uh, yeah, he's immune to physical damage, and even though that damage did that attack did zero damage, apparently it can still inflict statuses. Okay. That's something I didn't know as well. That's some interesting interesting learning experience. It's just in just learning going on all around all around these days. Okay. So, let's see, we need to make sure we catch one of these guys. Already caught you. Uh, we're just going to... Let's focus on weakening one. Oh, literally weakening. Okay, well, that's actually probably good to capture then. <laughs> yep, literally weakening him. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, virus is here. Not doing too much yet. She's now cursed. I can't remember if this is the first time we've seen curse or not. Um, and, well, it's gone now. <laughs> It just decreases your two defensive stats, I think, by five every turn, or it might be by ten. I think it's five every turn. Uh, it's pretty much the opposite of weaken, which in which decreases your offense, your two offensive stats by by five every turn, or ten. I think it's five, but uh, I'm not actually 100 percent sure. And they also both increase the damage of the opposite type. So weak increases dark damage, and curse increases holy damage, I believe. Uh, yeah, just just a few interesting little uh, little tip. Oh, I didn't buff his attack yet. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that could have gone better. No big deal, though. So you see there, broke the mirror, and then he got bad luck. Uh, can't remember if that happened before, but uh, happened now, so I'm just going to call it out. Oh, I didn't capture one. Or, no, I did. Never mind. Oh, my goodness. I'm all over the place today. Okay, anyway. <laughs> now that that's taken care of. Oh, uh, we can uh, push this box, uh, and uh, this this we can uh, just walk freely here. We have a chest here, and you see there's this lovely painting of a treasure chest here. It's actually a treasure chest. <laughs> you see, we get a diamond key. I, I in my stream, I'm like 30ish hours in, 40ish hours in, <laughs> and I have not found a place to use these yet. So this is for way later on. We also got what else we got? I think we got. Uh, some rainbow ore and maybe something else that I wasn't paying attention to. Uh, pretty good chest, as you can, you know, it's it's hidden in plain sight. So if if you actually did just think it was a painting and didn't didn't like try and interact with it, um, that's that's like perfectly reasonable thing to happen. Okay, so we can go ahead and check over here now. Okay, so there's the 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 monolith. Uh, it's just a rock. Uh, corrupt every living thing. Causes aggression and violence. Still to blame. Uh, greater effect on beasts than humans. That's interesting to know. Mm. Is Monolith affecting you? Uh, he just meowed and then nothing happened. <laughs> okay, so we have a pile of papers here. Uh, unlimited energy source. So that's what they're looking to use this for, is for energy. Mm. Fire outmatch any resistance. 
wiped out by bursts of energy. Hmm. A little bit spooky sounding. Please do not shut down the computer. Uh, unfortunately, at least as far as I, I'm aware, there's no way to actually like shut down the computer. I thought that would be kind of funny. But uh, if we turn on this jukebox, this is premium content, by the way. This is exclusive. You hear this little uh, this little classic jingle from uh, from the fourth game whenever you encounter the the stray god cat encounters. Uh, so we have a couple NPCs here. Uh, so you do research. So this, this guy's just here for the research. Hmm. The Great Impact. So that's what this the event of those crashing into the earth seems to be dubbed here. Uh, whoops. <laughs> just click the dialogue. So warm and com. <laughs> It's the only thing she cares about is the suit. Um, <clears throat> green energy field, fixing the radiation. So I assume we should be careful. Okay. So let's see here. So you'll notice a couple encounters here. This is just a defender. The first time I got here, I thought this was a defender with a missile mounted on it. Uh, the missile is just part of the background. <clears throat> don't don't be confused. This is just a defender encounter. So it's I mean you know still a little bit spooky, but um. It's not anything new besides that. <laughs> okay. So you'll notice we have uh, radiation as the, the weather effect for this area because of the monolith. So everyone gets random defense. Or actually, no, this I think is because of the force field that's surrounding us, actually. Uh, so everyone gets random defense-related debuffs between turns. A uh, little bit... Uh, here. Uh, no, we're just going to let you do your thing. So a little bit dangerous, but it can potentially work in your favor. It just it just kind of depends on what character gets stuck with what what status, basically. <sighs> oh yeah, let's do that again. Okay, decent damage. Not too much, honestly. Might want to use temper on Ana moving forward because her attacks just seem to be doing more damage in general. <laughs> and that's even considering that No Legs has buffs. And I can't remember if these worms summon things, but either way, the worms are definitely a lot less threatening than the wraiths, so I'm actually going to take out the wraiths first. So you can kind of see, uh, everyone gets inflicted with something. So, physical defense down is, of course, very nice, because that means that this guy is going to die quite easily here. Magic defense down doesn't help us at all. Uh, let's see. Let me just do heal more. Have we upgraded that recently? Uh, not much. Okay. Could, could do, could, could be a little bit better, certainly. Okay. So yeah, I can't remember if the fuzzy worms summon things as the virus entering the mix again. But I also don't remember. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> this is a good thing he just defended, or else he probably would be—he'd be just about dead. No, these guys are actually weak to poison. Okay. Oh, uh, so you see, HP down is also included. I think that this can't—this uh, can't decrease accurate, or this can't decrease evade. It actually can decrease defense, physical defense, magic defense, or a maximum HP, which is, I think this is the first time we're seeing that the HP stat can actually be manipulated. <clears throat> it's not, I wouldn't say it happens very often by any means, but it is something that does happen from time to time. And there are certain things that, that will influence it. Uh, so it's just, just good to keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, uh, no we want Earth. Whose Earth attacks going to do more here? Physical 120, 92, okay. She is gonna do more. So you have a chance actually to kill this guy in one hand. Yep. And then she's, even with the defend, it's pretty likely to kill. Damn, not quite. Okay. That's fine, he's gonna surrender herself. So. See ya. <laughs> okay. Now, really quick, I just wanna show something you can do with this room. It actually, you can actually manipulate how the room works, I believe. So if you turn both of these off, these interesting looking consoles, uh, if we go into a battle here really quickly, the weather is still radiation. Okay, never mind. Um, not 100% sure, sure how it works, but uh, either way, I think we're gonna go ahead and end that off there. <laughs> so maybe maybe next time I'll remember how this works exactly. Also, this guy has a he's looking for snail mail. Uh, I don't know when you complete this quest. I haven't done it yet, <laughs> so it's gonna take a while. And lastly, we can go here. We don't have a hammer. Okay. So maybe next time uh, I'll figure. Hope next time I should be able to tell you what exactly is going on with this room because I know that turning that off does influence something. Um, but we'll have to wait on that. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check the description for a link to my Twitch.tv channel. Tonight I'm not sure I'm going to be streaming yet. Uh, today is my first day uh, working full time, 
So, um, I I'm not sure. It depends on how I have orientation today. I don't know if I'm going to be jumping straight into work. If it's going to be a shorter day, I'm not really sure. Uh, either way, I'm, sh I'm expecting to be quite exhausted. So, if I... I might stream tonight. Join the Discord, which is also in the description, uh, where I'll be keeping you guys up to date on what my plans are for for streaming uh, for Monday or any other day. Um, but if I don't stream Monday, I will definitely be streaming again on Wednesday. I have <clears throat> whichever day I stream on, I have one more code for the EBF Five Composers Cut to give away. Uh, this is the one that actually Fiona gave me to keep for myself, but I'm just gonna buy it when I have. Uh, a bit of money, so I'm just gonna give you guys the last code. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in winning that, feel free to stop by. You have to be present in the chat at the end of the stream to win the giveaway. <clears throat> and I now stream from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. EST, so <clears throat> hopefully that works better for you guys. It's a bit earlier because I need to be in bed, quite frankly, earlier now. But, um, yeah, hopefully that works, that works better for you guys. Those are my new streaming hours for the foreseeable future. Um, might change, I might have to shorten them, but tentatively, I'm going to be streaming in that time frame, at least, uh, for the foreseeable future. But, um, yeah, thank you guys again very much for watching, and next time, we will, you see, we've actually pretty much come full circle here, so we may very well get to the bottom of, uh, of this whole, uh, the whole situation going on in this Iron Fortress. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.